What's up guys, Jordan here with Objective C Tutorials, Lesson 31, Do While Loops. And as you remember, last lesson we went over while loops. So you may be saying, well, what's the difference between a while and do while loop? Well, they're the same thing except for one thing. With a do while loop, the condition is evaluated after the loop. So this means a do while loop will always run at least once. And down there at the bottom, you, you can see the generic example of a do while loop. So how a do while loop works. Uh, do tells the compiler that this is a do while loop. Then statements to do while the condition is true are run at least once. Then while condition is evaluated. If true, the loop goes back to step one. If false, the program continue, continues on. Now steps two through three are run until the condition is false, then the program continues. Now, a little bit more information about the do while loop. If there is a chance you do not want your loop to run, then do not, do not use a do while loop. An example is if there was the possibility of an array being empty, you would not want to use a do while loop to iterate through it. And do while loops are ended with a semicolon. Just remember that, uh, as you can see in the example there. And however, other loops are not terminated with a semicolon. So just remember that the do while loop is the only loop that is ended with a semicolon, not a brace. And that's all for this lesson. There wasn't too much to go over. So now we're going to jump into Xcode and add a do while loop to our code. Okay, so here we are in Xcode and we're just going to add the do while loop right below the other two loops. So say do. Then we're just going to put in all this information that we put in in the other two loops. So a transaction. I'm just going to finish uh, declaring this object transaction new. Then a transaction called the create transaction method. We're going to do the same n times uh, 100. And of type, we're going to make this charge. Then we're going to add it to the transactions array. So add object, a transaction. Close that all out. Then we need to increment n and, whoops, semicolon. Then we can close that loop out. But remember that then we still have to put while. And then the condition n is less than or equals to 3. Then close it out with a semicolon. And then we're all done. So we can go ahead and build and run. Save all. So the first four lines here are what we worked with the last two lessons. So go to the fifth line where you see charging $300 in foreign currency leaves negative $50. That's exactly what we expected because 300 times that transaction rate of 1.25 is 375 subtracted from 325 is negative $50. So just what we expected would happen happened. And but you may be saying, well, why is it $300? Well, to understand that you first have to look at this while loop. So n equals 1. So 1 is less than 3. That's correct. It goes through. Then it increments. So now n equals 2. So 2 is less than 3. That's correct. So it runs through again. So that's why it ran through twice. Then it gets incremented again. So 3 is less than 3. Well, that's not true. So it jumps down here and runs through this do while loop. So it runs through this one time. It increments n to 4. And then it uh, checks the condition while n is less than or equal to 3. So 4 is less than or equal to 3. That's not correct. So then it ends the loop and it only ran that one time, the, the default time that a do while loop will always run. So uh, that's all for loops. We're all done talking about them now. So that's the for loop, while loop, do while loop, and then we have the for in loop right there. So four types of loops that you now know a lot about. So that's all for this lesson. Be sure to leave any comments or questions or suggestions down in the comments box below. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you're notified when I upload lesson 32. And be sure to like this video if it helped you out. And I'll see you in my next video real soon. Later.